Good morning, everybody. Adam Savage here in my cave. <sighs> every now and then, every now and then, I build something and I don't get it right. That happens frequently. I had I made the St. Edward's crown twice. I got another one coming up that I'm about to do a second time. And I must admit that I did some furniture making over COVID that I was really happy with, including this guy right here. There we go. Including that guy right there. My red, my red cabinet for sorting important laid stuff. And I'm here to tell you that doesn't quite work. Yeah, okay, so let me explain why. Uh, the main reason is that I included, the main reason is that uh, the drawers come all the way out and they stick. <coughs> They're not all, I know, maybe soap or candle wax and stuff like that, but the answer is no. I'm gonna actually pull this thing out. I'm gonna measure it, measure the amount of space I have to, because its location is perfect. Its location is perfect absolutely stunning for what I need it for. It's just that its execution is lacking. So what I have here are some drawer slides. These are 8.4 inch drawer slides, six pairs of them. I have more of those. So I'm gonna remake that cabinet slightly bigger with some slightly deeper drawers for a couple of things that I need. And <clears throat> then I'm going to put drawer slides on the drawers because yeah, that's gonna actually make it useful, right? So uh, yeah, it's gonna be some carpentry today. I didn't think I was gonna do this until the very last minute. And then I was like, you know what? <sighs> one thing was to like tackle, ah, one thing was to tackle this guy, but I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a couple weeks for that. It's just, you know, once I pull that down, <clears throat> the whole infrastructure in here has to shift until it goes back up. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's go get this thing. Twelve doors. That should be enough. Yes, yes, there are other drawers. Yes! Oh, there's so much going on. All right. There is the needle in question. And I think we can remove all of these. Yeah. Ah, gone you are. Let's see here. Yeah, so I'm not going to be. So the whole depth of the thing can be that deep, but the shelves are actually just a little bit less deep. Mm -hmm. uh, right, so the cabinet is gonna be eight and a half deep IT. And then the drawers themselves are going to be Is that six or should we say six and a half? Let's say six. No, nope, six and a half. Let's do six and a half. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, okay. So, 
we're gonna make the drawers first and then we're gonna make the cabinet to fit the drawers. That should make this pretty straightforward. Oh, we have all the screws we need. Um, so for 22 inches tall, drawers sort of suck up against each other. And look, you just fell right down, didn't you? Okay, so. Uh, right, so let's see. I want to do, I like this depth for some of the drawers. And this depth is one and a half inch drawers. 1.5 inch drawers. Two inch drawers. One, th one three inch drawer. Okay, so if I have a three, two point five, let's do two threes, two two point five. Great. We're going to do seven two inch drawers, two two and a half inch drawers, and two three inch drawers. That means, that means we cut all the drawer fronts first. The drawer fronts and backs all get cut first. Yes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, Brett. Yes, they do. How many drawers total? 11 drawers. <clears throat> and the bottoms are all exactly the same. The drawers are roughly 18. more of this and stuff. Great. All right, I have enough for the drawer bottoms. We will work out those sizes after I've cut the drawer fronts. And then once I have cut the drawers and attached these guys to them, that's when I will figure out the size of the cabinet. And once I do that, then I'm gonna figure out how to paint it and what to put it on. So cut list, always, always, always a great place to start for a build like this. Gonna go get some wood.
So, uh, so now I have all the, I have 12 drawers here. I'm going deeper than I was thinking about before. I've got 12 drawers here. Seven, six, and four. <clears throat> what? Three. Yeah, that's it. Seven, six, and three. Seven, two, and three. Every time I try and do math on this channel, one could be led to believe that I am bad at math. <laughs> okay, so I got all my drawer fronts and sides. Uh, now I want to, um, uh, because the drawer bottoms are this stuff, which is hmm, about an eighth of an inch, uh, because the drawer bottoms are an eighth of an inch, I'm going to make a little saw cut as a uh, as a notch to receive the drawer bottoms. And I have to do that in all of these pieces of wood. 48 pieces. Yeah. So we're just going to set up and do that. Just bring this down. Very satisfying. I would like to soften up all of these pieces. So I'm going to gang them up and I'm going to take them over to the 3M Scotch Brite. Uh, all right. Two things, two things. One is uh, these. Uh, Types of belts. These. Uh, oh, come on, come on. This guy. This guy. It's effectively. Um, it's the scrunch on the other side of your sponge. It's a slightly different grade of it. They make these for most belt sanders. It's really awesome. And frankly, I gotta tell you, uh, they are. Uh, they're stunning for doing a. You know, a sawdust pass to keep the edges smooth. I mean, you know, sorry, with a really fresh one, it takes a lot of material with an old one. And I keep old ones around. Peter Lyon at Weta Workshop taught me to do that. The old ones can take, take a lot less material off and you can, you know, finesse them better. But the other thing I want to say at the outset of this is please don't take a look at this build and think that the speed at which I'm executing it is any kind of guide for how long it should take. You should know that for me, making a set of drawers like this is a mature process, one that I can sort of background process for weeks and gather parts for. And when it's time to build, I'm just buttoning down the busy work because I already have so much of the structure already in my head. If I was doing this as a build for a client, it would take longer 
because I have to satisfy all sorts of, see, when I build it for myself, I, I can change the goalposts. I make it for a client, it's totally different. So if you're a client, please don't think that someone should be able to build you something like this in a day or two, or don't think that you should get it cheap because you saw that guy on YouTube build it really fast. Like, I would charge you a pretty penny for one of these because I'd be designing it to you. Let's just be really clear. Like, it occurred to me I was, I'm going to finish this in like four hours flat and it's going to be, maybe, we'll see. But, you know, I, I just, context is everything. All right. Uh, we're almost ready to cut the drawer bottoms and then start assembling. Boom. bottoms actually are. Yeah. So, in one dimension. So, yeah. We're gonna do this with some exactitude. Seven inches on the freaking nose. Two thousandths under seven inches. Wow. All right. Uh, so let's just double check that. Okay. Seven is a little too close. So we're going to go 50 thou under. To 6.95. Let's see. Yep. That gives enough. Okay. I'm going to double check. Uh, so 6.95. Y by, I'm just going to double check this again. The three inch, the two and a half inch arms. So, I'm just going to, oh, yeah, that's there for parallelism. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I like that. 6.95. Okay, now the other dimension. Yeah, that's exactly right. So the other dimension is this one. Seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half. Six point five by seventeen point five. All right, so we're gonna cut one out like that. We're gonna see how it goes. So uh, one of the things I want to do is be able, one of the things I wanted to be, want to be able to do is to add in stuff like this. This is really important. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to set up my sled and uh, template and I'm just going to cut them all. So yeah, we have, um, everything's ready for assembling the drawers. Here we have uh, 60 pieces of wood of one, two, three, four, five, six different sizes with an average of around five to seven operations per piece. So it's about, give or take, around 350 separate operations to generate this. And it's not bad. We're, we're only in uh, 
I got started around 9.30 and it's about 10.45. Is that really true? Or maybe I got started closer to nine. At any rate, uh, we're making great progress. I'm excited about the new possibilities these drawers represent. Mm -hmm. uh, so now it's time to do some uh, assembly. Assembly. It's not the muffler per se, it's the muffler assembly. Um, right. I'm going to pull the leather. I'm going to set this up for some woodworking. I'm going to use the brad nailer, not the pin nailer, because I want some strength to these joints. I'm going to glue and glue, glue and tack them. All right. Just before I assemble anything, I just want to make sure I'm not being dumb. Nope, I am not being dumb. That's great. We'll see the whole drawer. I love it. I want to see the whole drawer. Okay, so we're going to do, so we're going to do this. Oh, that was a little bit close. This doesn't take me a few minutes to kind of get in the procedure. That doesn't work. Three, four, five, two, and assemble it here. That doesn't really matter, does it? No, it doesn't. So. I gotta say, I really enjoy this Milwaukee Brad nail. Uh, I think my DeWalt crapped the bed. I don't know why. This kind of tedious busy work when you like really know your process is so I literally find it as like, it's one of the reasons I woke up wanting to do this piece because I just knew be a fun mental space to visit. I would like to state for the record that I'm hours into this project and I have yet to make a fundamental organizing mistake, which feels like a bit of a triumph, frankly. Ooh. and seven. All right. Whoop. I love it. I love it. So with the spacers I've put, the, the challenge now is to mount these all in by screwing their screws into a side panel box that I make. I would like to not have to think about how these go in. So what I'd like to do is make pencil marks on the inside of my box and then uh, really specifically make the box and then put these in boop, 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 and button them all the way down. That'll be really easy if I don't have to kind of custom fit each one to its neighbor. And I get this really nice consistency here. 
plus, yeah, all around it's good. Um, the question is, yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, it's, um, let's figure it out. Uh, so the, this can go away. And this can measure. So 29 and 7 sixteenths. And I'm going to give it to 29 and a half. 29 and a half. Right. So. Width. Height. Twenty nine and a half. Yeah, I'll just have a little bit of extra space on the last one. To be fair, it's actually twenty nine and three. Add twenty nine and a half. Twenty nine and a half. And stop trying to get to. So the height is twenty nine point five, and the width here is. And three quarters. Oh, yeah, see? It's a eighteen and thirteen sixteenths. Eighteen and thirteen sixteenths. Eighteen and thirteen. Uh, okay. So I'm going to cut these out. Two at eight. At 18 and 3 sixteenths, two at 8 and 3 quarters, about 30 and a half. And that should get me, yeah, get me where I need to go. I'll get some farther. Here's the camera. There you are. Hi. <laughs> Fuzzball. Okay, so now, uh, what happens here? These guys go back to there, and there. Yeah, that's all. What's that? Right? Yeah, I should be able to screw this all in place and have it all sort of. Once I pull out all the spacers, it should give me a, uh, it should give me the loose tolerance that I need.
almost all of them. There may be a couple of sticking points, but I'll find and solve those. Okay, let's see. So, let's try up here first. All right, hey, so things are, yeah, feeling pretty good. This, I think this is the front, right? Yeah, this is the front. So this is the front. Yeah, this is the front. So then the question is, I was thinking of putting faces on this, but I really do kind of like those floats. Yes, yes. So, right, I want to grind those off, and I also want to, where are you? I need two pieces that are, oh, I'm going to write down. I need two pieces that are 29 and a half plus a tiny chunk of change. By so let's see here. What do I got? I have a fun strategy. Whoa. I have a fun. <laughs> Why I've not been a professional martial artist in movies, reason number 755. Um, I have a fun technique for both stopping the drawers, which is a pair of these on the back, dump, dump, like that, and that will give some uh, glued strength to this puppy. Uh, and then I'm going to triangulate, whoop, whoop, like that, and that will make this thing nice and rigid and hold its shape. Then it will grind down the sides. So, uh, right, I want my dad. Mmm. I love it. Good. So, now, let's so put it on the stand. Now I want to take this thing apart. Let's see if I can do it this way. There we go. That's it.
So I'm making the stand, I'm making the bottom of the stand, the top of the stand. That's kind of how this is going now. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, glue and staple the shit out of this. Okay, uh, we're very close to the end of this. I am about to uh, start putting some labels on and I'm very excited about that because that's the, yeah, that's the fun part. Okay, so here we go. Uh, put this one over here. Boring bars. Boring bars. Knurling tools. Oh, I love this part. Cut off tooling. And cut off insert holders. Thank you. 
Oh, look at this. Oh. I know, I'll fix those last two, but we've got expanding collet holders, expanding reamers, boring bars, knurling tools, plus an extra bank space, cut off tool holders. Oh my gosh, it is so nice. Yes, look at all this room. Look at all this organization and room to expand. It's so exciting. Plus, platform up top. Let us put it all in place, shall we? All going back to the The thing is, yeah, here we go. All this stuff goes up here. Yep. All that. Excellent. There's that. These guys. Yes. Oh, very good. Oh, I have a big thing somewhere over here. There it is. All right. So, uh, let's see. There's definitely that. Hands, and then there's the food grinder, right? Which also frames the chair. Great. Ooh. And even more now. My lathe setup is exactly the kind of fighter pilot setup that I like. I'm gonna be able to clock it just a little bit and I'll probably do a little bit of a clampy clamp so it doesn't rock up here, but that won't take very much. Dudes, thank you for joining me for this um, six hour actual one day build and there it lives into the lathe. I could not be happier. Thank you guys so much for this. Yeah, I'll see you next time, cheers. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.